All right, hey guys, Christine Morell here. Today, I'm gonna be talking about booking agents, why they're important, and how they can change your life as a musician, and how to get one. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's dive right into it. Getting a booking agent can change your life. Now, most people don't really know how booking agents work. So this is how they work. Basically, they don't typically charge you anything up front, so you don't have to pay anything. So that is a great thing, right? So as a musician, maybe you're a singer, you're a band, you're a rapper, whatever it is that you are, you're going, okay, how does this work then? Obviously they have to make money. So the way that it works is they go out and they find you shows. So they'll be calling venues. They might be calling promoters. They probably already have a lot of relationships with um, different venues, different, you know, bars, restaurants, casinos, or maybe they book for weddings. Maybe they book for, you know, big arenas. It just depends. They can book at different things all over the board. But the advantage to having a booking agent is, let's say they've been in the business for a while, let's say they know five venues, right? Or maybe they know 50 venues, regardless of what it is. If they like you as a performer and you sign with them, then they're able to get you gigs. So they might book you a show at a casino on a Friday night. And so you're performing at a casino, maybe you got paid 500 bucks, right? The way that they get paid is they take a percentage. So they usually take 10 to 15%. So if they take 10%, that'd be 50 bucks. You know, 50% would be 75 bucks. So you make 500 and they take 50 bucks. So that means you walk home with 450. You didn't have to do any work. You didn't have to call any venues. You didn't have to, you know, go meet with anybody. You, you don't typically, you know, have to um, do a ton of work in that sense because the booking agent has done all the work. All you need is their approval. So the venues, already have a relationship with the agent or they trust the agent. So the thing that you have to do is just make sure the agent likes you. Um, so it can be really, really advantageous for you to do this because I know I've been on both sides of the board. So I've booked my own shows. If you guys know me, I do an average of like 200 to 300 paid shows a year all over the world. And I've done um, you know, years where I've booked all my own shows and I've done years where I've booked almost exclusively through agents. Now, when I've booked all my own shows, I had to call venues, I had to, you know, send in invoices and send in videos and, you know, sometimes audition and that sort of thing. Um, now I got to keep all my money. Um, you know, I didn't have to pay a 10% booking fee, but it was a lot of work and a big headache. Having a booking agent, I didn't have to call any venues. I got a hold of one agent, that one agent started working with me and booked me all over the place. So that's what's really advantageous about getting a booking agent and why it can really help you save time. It can help you make a lot of money because they're already, they've already been in the business. They already have relationships with venues. And especially if you're brand new and you don't have relationships, this is a great way to get in. Now I get a bunch of questions from other people who want to get a booking agent who have never gotten one before. So I'm gonna answer those. Um, one of the questions that I got was, do you have to be experienced? Now, you don't have to be experienced. Of course it helps. You know, when I got my first booking agent, I was very experienced. But I have a lot of students that I've worked with that I've gotten, um, you know, helped them to get signed with different booking agents and agencies um, that have never done a show in their life, like never even done a gig ever. So it's absolutely possible. I have seen it happen over and over and over again, but you need a few key things. So that's what I'm gonna go over with you. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you have a great show, right? Now I've put together lots of other tutorials. So if you want any more information, check my YouTube channel, but it's very, very important, <clears throat> excuse me, that you're able to entertain a crowd too. I suggest that you make a promo video, AKA show reel. This is very important. Now I have, um, you know, really great free PDF. Um, it'll either be on the, check, uh, the description or somewhere else on this page that you can take a look at so that you can see how to make a promo video. Um, why is this important? This is important because you don't wanna have to go audition for a hundred different agencies. You wanna be able to just send an email, send them a video, the video shows exactly what you do and it's formatted the right way with the right types of songs, with the right type of lighting and the right type of everything so that they look at you and they go, wow, we really like him or her. They're professional, they got their stuff together. I would like to sign them and represent them and book them shows. Now three, you gotta go out and you gotta find the booking agents, okay? Don't listen to people when they say that you just need to like show up and sing karaoke and someone's gonna see you there. That is so not proactive and it's lazy. 
Um, what you should be doing is you can Google. I mean, guys, Google is a great, great search engine. You know, you can Google for agencies in your area. You can Google for agencies that book corporate gigs, that book weddings, that book, you know, whatever it is, uh, cruise ships. Maybe you're looking to travel all over the world. So you need to find an agent specific to what you want to do. Okay. So it, you don't just look for any booking agent. And the other thing is, let's say you're a, um, a rapper, for example. You're not going to want to go find an agent that just books singers. You need to find someone that represents what you do. You know, if you're a DJ, find someone that represents DJs. Um, you can Google this, you know, booking agent in your you know town. Or another big thing that I've done is I've called venues. Like, let's say I wanted to perform at a casino, for example. I might call the casino and go, hey, who does your booking? And they might go, it is, you know, John Smith booking agency. Awesome. So now I'm going to Google John Smith booking agency and I'm going to call them and I'm going to say, hey, how do I, you know, sign with your agency? I get their email and guess what? I send them my promo video. So that's how that works. So you got to seek out these booking agents, email them, find as many as you can. You know, if you when I wanted to, um, you know, perform on cruise ships all over the world, that's what I did. I Googled agencies that book cruise ships. I found one. They represented me and I ended up going to Bora Bora and Tahiti. I ended up going to the island of Morea. I went to Hawaii. I went to Australia. You know, like I got offered a whole bunch of other gigs um, in New Zealand, like all kinds of cool stuff. So um, it's a big opportunity, but you have to seek them out. You have to, you know, this is just a business, just like any other profession, guys. Now that is the basic gist of how you get a booking agent. If you're wanting some more information, guys, I've put together a really awesome resource of, this was a lot of work, by the way, more than 2,000 um, booking agents in the United States and around the world. Um, this is available in a PDF um, and available as a book um, where it has literally like, I mean, if you want to look in here, look, it has the, here's a Beverly Hills one. So you can actually take a look at these. Um, so here's some agents. Um, it actually shows what they book, you know, world music, Latin, reggae, jazz, classical, blues, um, pop, they book bands. Um, it has their phone number, it has their address, their email, it even has their Facebook. So if you're looking to get an agent and maybe you don't want to do the work, you don't want to Google it, you don't want to do all that stuff, then I've done all the work for you. You can actually um, click on it by country. So if you want to go to Asia, you can click on Asia. It'll take you to the hundreds of you know uh, agencies that are on there in the PDF if you get the PDF form. So it's really awesome because um, this will save you hours and hours. I mean, I'm talking like a thousand hours if you're looking to find booking agents all over the world. If you're anything like me, I love to travel. So I've worked with multiple agents all over the world. Um, anytime that I want to go, you know, if I wanted to go to, you know, any any place or within the country, if I wanted to do more corporate gigs, if I've wanted to you know, book some of my artists that I work with who are, you know, in um, pop bands, that sort of thing. It's really great to have something like this because you have it organized. Um, it'll tell you exactly the city, the state, the continent, the country, it has the email, the direct phone number, um, the Facebook, the Instagram. You can reach out to these people in many different ways. I've done all the work. It'll save you a ton of time. Check the description if you'd like to get this for yourself. Um, I would highly, again, highly recommend getting a booking agent if you're looking to do this as a profession. I mean, what's amazing about music is you're blessed with a gift. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't also be paid, paid for it. And booking agents will help you get to travel. Um, some of the most amazing experiences I've had um, experiencing new cultures, trying new foods. Um, that's some of my favorite stuff is just traveling and eating and music. Like that's it. That's all I want to do in life. I'm happy with that. I suggest checking this out. And I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, you have any comments, put it in the description and I will see you guys on the next one.